welcome to our readings of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 2, The Growth of the Flame, Book 4, The Book of Birth and Quest, through verses 35 and 40. Crossing the mystic seas of the beyond, to live on eagle heights near to the sun. Their wisdom sits on her eternal throne. All her life's turns led her to symbol doors, admitting to secret powers that were her kin, adept of truth, initiated of bliss, a mystic acolyte trained in nature's school, aware of the marvel of created things, she laid the secrecies of her heart's deep muse upon the altar of the wonderful. Her hearts were a ritual in a timeless than her acts became gestures of sacrifice, invested with the rhythm of higher spheres. The word was used as a hieratic means for the release of the imprisoned spirit into communion with its comrade gods, or it helped to beat out new expressive forms of that which labors in the heart of life. Some immemorial soul in man and things, seeker of the unknown and the unborn, carrying a light from the ineffable to rend the veil of the last mysteries. Intense philosophies pointed out to heaven or on foundations broad as cosmic space appraised the earth mind to superhuman heights or oh, passing lines that please the outward eyes but hide the sight of that which lives within sculpture and painting concentrate that sense upon an inner vision's motionless verge revealed a figure of the invisible unveiled all nature's meaning in a form or caught into a body the divine the architecture of the infinite discovered here its inward musing shapes captured into wide breaths of soaring stone music brought down celestial yearnings song held the merged heart absorbed in rapturous depths linking the human with a cosmic cry, the world interpreting movements of the dance, molded idea and mood to a rhythmic sway and posture crafts minute in subtle lines, eternized as swift moments memory are showed in a carving's sweep, a cup's design, the underlying patterns of the unseen, poems in largeness cast like moving worlds, and meters surging with the ocean's voice, translated by grandeurs locked in nature's art, but thrown now 
into a crowded glory of speech. The beauty and sublimity of her forms, the passion of her moments and her moods, lifting the human word nearer to the gods. The beauty and sublimity of her forms, the passion of her moments and her moods, lifting the human word nearer to the gods.